Gen Z may never work in an office, but at what cost? Story from Yahoo. A growing number of young employees who graduated during the pandemic or got a new job as offices were closing have never worked in an office. It's extraordinary. But think about it. Think about if you were coming out of college over the last two years. There's a good percentage of kids who have worked remote and remote only. So, um, we all heard the stats. We understand. Um, Managing your time your way is a key reason that a lot of people want to work remotely. Um, Gallup research tells us beyond that, not having to commute, the flexibility to balance work and personal obligations and improve well-being are obviously popular reasons for remote work. However, research shows that there are drawbacks. Some surveys show that young remote workers, we're talking about Gen Z folks, okay? Some remote workers that are in Gen Z may feel unmoored. What a fancy word, right? It's like a ship that doesn't, it's not having anchor. It's just kind of bouncing around out there wherever the tide takes it. Uh, Unmoored and anxious. But I think that that word, um, the Wall Street Journal used that phrase And I think that that's really good. Now, it's a word we don't hear much, but anchorless, right? There's no anchor. They don't feel a part of a community. That's that's what's going on behind that word unmoored. What they're saying is not only they feel anxious, and, and, and I would tell you the reason I think they feel anxious is they don't feel a sense of, watch, belonging. See, we humans want to belong. We want to feel we're part of a club, a group, right? An affinity, you know? We just want to belong. You ever been to a Jimmy Buffett concert? Boy, those people. Parrot heads, they call themselves. Those people want to belong to that group. Grateful Dead. I'm thinking in the music. You know, like like those people all look the same. They want to belong, right? We all want to be a part of something. And Gen Z is discovering that when I'm at home alone working And even though I know I'm a part of something much bigger than me, I'm not experiencing that, seeing that. That's what Unmoored is really talking about. All right, let's keep going. 69% of Gen Z persons surveyed um, said that they would like to work remotely at least half the time. However, half of respondents also reported an increase in anxiety and depression attributed to remote work. Researchers further believe that young workers may harm their personal and professional lives by missing out on traditional experiences related to in-person duties, such as learning from older colleagues, chatting with bosses, and settling into the office workday, or even just being face-to-face with others. This is from the Wall Street Journal. I mean, this is, folks, I mean, I don't even know why this is a news story. It's not like this is, I mean... This is so common sense, but this is the world we live in right now. This young group, listen. Listen to what Dr. Nishizaki said from California State University, Los Angeles. Boy, what a mouthful. Um, This is the cohort, talking about Gen Z, with the least amount of person-to-person interaction while growing up. Think about it. And I'm guilty too. Okay? Smartphones. Nathan, you're our uh, representative of the, of the young dad with the young kids. Look, I'm not calling you out, but the fact of the matter is, if you take your wife to the restaurant and the kiddos, it's a lot easier to shove an iPad and an iPhone in their face. It just is. Am I right? Oh, yeah, but we, we don't. You don't. I know. You're very intentional, and that's good. Let me tell you why, Nathan. Because if, if you do what everybody else does, your kids are going to grow up with a real lack of interpersonal skills. That's what they're saying here. The researchers are going, they grow up and they don't have to have much human communication outside of mom or dad, and even that's limited. My dad used to say this a million times when I was growing up. Eyeballs on me. If I wasn't looking at him, he wouldn't finish the sentence. By the way, I still do that with my 16-year-old. Drives him nuts. I say, hey, look at me when I'm talking. I do. Hey, hey, look at me. I'm telling you. Right? It matters. Here, here's the other side. I'm having some fun, but watch this. That's what they actually want. They've never done it. But if they want to work with coworkers, you know what that means? They want to look them in the eye. 
They want to be seen. They want to be heard. They want to be talked to. They want to be loved. Interesting, huh? Very interesting. Young workers are voicing concerns now on forming relationships with work colleagues and the ability to build a professional network. Guess what? It's really hard to build a professional network when you're sitting home in your pajama pants. There you go.